in position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. That field goal narrows the gap here in the early part of the second quarter, Phil. Yeah, it was a good drive, Jim, that time. It's a morale booster. It gives you energy and did everything for your football team. I know it was just a field goal, but I thought it was very important for the football team. And Davis is going to test the coverage here. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Chiefs offense, Phil, was on a roll right now with touchdowns coming on each of their last two possessions. Can they make it three in a row right here? Well, we're going to find out. I like their chances. What have we seen that makes us think that they're not going to come out there and get it done? They're, they're playing exceptional football on the offensive side. The Chiefs will look to get set. It's been a close game so far. The score's 14 to 10. First down at the 22. Toss to the outside. Games five. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. He will give it to Jamal Charles. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Charles is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. The Chiefs have a third down coming up. They did a great job a week ago of converting on third down. Press coverage all the way. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Macklin's got it. First down. Phil, you look at this offense right now. They've got a quarterback who's moving the football through the air, and that's a big reason why they're leading this game. That's right. That's why they're leading the game. Boy, I'd hate to be a defensive back out there today. The wide receivers are good. The quarterback is hot. They've got awesome rhythm, and that's why they're playing so well. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. From the gun. Complete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. The Titans come out in a dime package. Out of the gun. The reception. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, that's a good route that time by the receiver. They call that a post route, and they call it a post route because he is running towards the goal post. Nice throw and catch. First down at the 42. It's intercepted. He's in the clear. The 20, the 10, in stride, and he's home for the touchdown. What a catch, what an interception, and not only that, take it all the way back for a touchdown. You talk about deflating for an offense. Ah, oh, shoot, that, that gets close to making him quit. Davis running this one out. And the tackle's made right the 25 yard line the Chiefs offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them yeah it did Jim but you know what it's not a perfect game you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football so you made that mistake let it go go out there be aggressive and see if you can score some points first down at the 25 Huff 
Smith's the one who made the big stop. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. The Titans at, at the line. Dime package. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Almost intercepted that time. Well, I think it's important for the defense. Anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are, give a little ground, and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. Takes the snap. We're about midway, second quarter. And they bring down the quarterback, and it's a three and out for the offense. They're back in punt formation. That means Cole quit. Going to try his luck here. Shrugs off the first hit. Gains 11. The Titans stepping back onto the field to get this next drive underway. Their previous possession was a field goal. Yeah, I think they feel good about that field goal. They made some good plays, and they got down there, and they moved the football, and they, they got in position where they could kick the field goal. Now you take the knowledge that you gained from that last drive, use it, and try to go down there now and score a touchdown. They've got to be wondering, though, can they finish off a drive today? Let's go! First down at the 39. Slashing to the right side. Stiff arms to stay on his feet. You got to be big, strong. You got to be tough. And we saw all those qualities that time in that run. Look at the broken tackles. It's first down as they head to the line. Two tight ends on the field here. Set up now at the 37. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. The Chiefs lined up in the nickel. Let's go. Break the three, 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 three. Get ready. First down at the 37. Picks up about five. He's got over 110 yards rushing on the day. Second down here after that run play. Mariota's back in shotgun formation. Unbelievable grab. Well, they call it the post route because you're running towards the goal post, but a good route that time by the receiver making that cut. He gets open, gets behind the defense, and a nice throw. the 16. Keeps his legs moving. Parker's in on the tackle. The Titans call the timeout. Their first. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Mariota's going to take it from the gun. Throws the pass. Parker's tackled down after a gain of 10. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. First and goal. Touchdown, Tennessee Titans. Finding the end zone for the second time. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. The Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff. Thomas 
Davis going to run this one out. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Chiefs offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them uh, when they went to the sidelines, so the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. Out of the shotgun. The ball is charred loose. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Second and ten coming up. The Chiefs line up, split backfield. He'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. He's got the catch. Breaks out of the tackle. Huge yardage picked up and finally tackled at the end. Set up now at the 46. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Drop back, shotgun formation. Kelsey's going to pull in the bullet pass. Tackled at the 29 yard line. Good job of hurrying up and getting on that football and trying to get the play off. Don't use the timeout here. Good clock management. And intercepted. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. The Titans will be trying to make it three successful drives in a row as they retake the field here on offense, partner. They've got a great feeling from the offense so far. In other words, they're confident. They feel good, so you need to keep calling plays. It keeps the, the offensive players in a positive frame of mind. You do that, hey, I wouldn't be surprised to see him march down here and score again. That'll do it for the second quarter here in the Music City. We'll be back to Nashville after halftime for the start of the third quarter. All right, Larry, thank you for that from the studios and halftime. We're going to transition now. We're about to get the third quarter underway. And he tackled just past the 20 will mark it at the 22 yard line the Chiefs were moving the football the last time they had it only to give the football away on the pick let's see how they do it this time yeah you know that's a tough situation for the offense you get a little confidence and you're moving the football and then the turnover just changes everything so you got to find a way to get your confidence going again set up screen to Charles Charles is tackled down at the 29 the Chiefs coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football, but no, they come out on first down, they throw it, they pick up solid yards. Good job by them. From the shotgun. And it's swatted away. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage at time. When you want to shut down a receiver, really the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. So after that last incompletion, it is third and three. The Titans with a nickel look here on defense. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Catch made. And that's a Rackpo on the stop. Hurry up, two-minute offense. First and ten. Makes the catch in the open field. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. First down at the 49. And here's the toss. And at the 49, he'll be brought down. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. The ball is spotted at the 49. Charles lined up in the backfield. Second down and eight. 